Hello everybody, my name is Valtteri Kekki. I'm the product manager of Mirador Online and today I am going to show you how to start using Apple Volume Purchasing Program with Mirador. VPP is Apple's way of enabling you to buy corporate licenses for your software as well as if you want to manage your free apps through that, do that as well. And whether it's free or paid apps you want to install, if you've got DEP enrolled devices, you'll get to install them even without user interaction and even without Apple IDs for the users. We start things up by going to the infrastructure diagram, browse downwards a bit, and here we have the Apple volume purchase program icon, currently in the gray. Hit the configure button to start the wizard. And the instructions are to sign into the Apple VPP portal, go to the account summary, download the token, and upload it in the next step. We do exactly that. Open up the VPP site, log in, go to the account summary, and download the token. Go back to Mirador, go to the next step, upload the token and hit confirm and that's all it took now we go to the applications menu here in Mirador and check in the VPP side my purchase history we can see that I've got a bunch of applications here from Javelin Masters to a couple of Adobe apps I've got a variable amount of licenses and in Mirador if I now hit the update Apple VPP tool, this will then import all my licenses into Mirador. I can then select the licenses available column here, and I can see how much I've got available. So let's say I want to install Adobe Content Fear. I just select it. I deploy it, select my device, and hit deploy. That's it. And the reason this works, if we once more select the licenses available here, if we take a look at the content view, now we see it's consuming one license, only nine out of 10 available. And if we take a look at these uh, options here, we see that by default, it's automatically assigned to the device when deployed. Now, if you wanted to change this, you could change this to apply to the user. So automatically apply to the user or assign them manually, meaning if we then try to install without using the assign tool, the installation would fail. And literally, it's that simple to start using VPP and start deploying your apps. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.